Hi guys, my name is Marcelo and we will learn on this tutorial how to scale a process on YPath with triggers. The only requirement to follow this tutorial is to have a process added on YPath Orchestrator. If you don't have, I suggest to see the video that will appear now on the top where we will learn how to add a process on YPath Orchestrator. So first, let's select our shard folder and then let's click on automations and here let's select the option triggers. And now to create a new trigger, let's click on the button add a new trigger. And as we can see, we have two types of triggers. So first, what's a trigger? A trigger basically allows us to create a schedule to launch the processes automatically. So by this way, we don't need to launch them manually from Orchestrator. And as we can see, we have the time trigger and the queue trigger. The time trigger allows us to schedule the process at a recurrent time, as it says here. So for example, we can say that we want to run the process at every Monday, Sunday and Friday, for example, at every hour. So it's a schedule based on the recurrent time. The queue trigger, it's a trigger based on the queue. So more about queues later on this course, but just to give an idea, a queue, it's a container that can hold an unlimited number of items. So on the queue trigger, we can find that we want to launch the process when, for example, we have three new items on certain queue. So when the queue has three new items, for example, the process will be launched by the trigger. So it's that the difference. This one based on the time and this one based on the queue. So let's create a trigger based on the time. So a recurrent time. So first we have to define the trigger name. So let's enter here, for example, schedule underscore first underscore orchestrator underscore process. And now that we have defined the name, we have to define the process that we want to launch from this trigger. So let's select our process. And now here we can define, for example, a specific machine where we want to launch the process. But as we just have only one, let's leave here any machine and also any user robot. So here we will create the role. So here, for example, we can say that we want to run our process every minute. So we have also the option to run hourly and we can change here to two hours, for example. We can choose daily to run the process daily, weekly, and here we can choose so the days, monthly, and advanced. So to see the trigger working, let's define minutes so uh, the process to run every minute. And now we just have to add. So let's click here. And now our trigger is created, and as we can see, the next runtime in a few seconds. So we will see that our process will be launched automatically by this trigger. So let's just wait a bit. And as we can see here, our process was launched from our trigger. So if we now go to jobs, we can see here the source. So we can see here on source the name of our trigger. So the process was launched by the trigger that we have created. So let's close the message box. And now let's click on triggers and let's disable the schedule because if we don't disable it, the process will run every minute. So to disable the trigger, it's very simple. Let's click here on the three dots and let's choose the option disable. And now our schedule, our trigger, it's disabled. So if you like this video, smash the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more YPath tutorials. Now I leave here on the screen a playlist with YPath tutorials. So if you want to learn more about YPath, I suggest to click so on the playlist and see the tutorials.